Hey there, everybody. It's your Danky Boy here, and welcome to another Game Maker Studio tutorial. And so, um, um, so I've been gone for like two weeks. My doing a nice holiday, nice holiday break. What are words? Anyways, I'm back. Programming. Let's do it. So this tutorial. Um, it's actually pretty cool. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a little while, but it's, it's not too hard either. So, and it's really hard to come up with a title for this type of thing. I don't know what you call it, but basically, it's taking a string, like a like a bit of information, and separating different parts of it into commas, and then making basically we're making going to make a program that kind of reads that information and takes out the comma and separates it into different things so let me let me just show you what I'm talking what, what I'm talking about here basically what we got here is we got this line this string that says Gerald comma 80 comma false right and then a comma after that just different information as one string all right basically what we're gonna be doing is taking these and saving them as separate variables in an array it's just a way to keep track of information and stuff like that basically it's a good way what this will mainly be used for is this is a good way to store information in like text or INI files and be able to store a lot of information into one singular line because this way this could be something comma something comma comma whatever right and then you can take out this information using this script that we're gonna have right here and putting in this list so I'll show you what we got what we got so far and this is what the program is gonna do basically is that we're gonna run this and all it's gonna do is take those different sections in that one string and then put each of the bits of information into a list. As you can see right here, here's the original string that we have right there. And then we're going to separate that into Gerald, 80, false. Those are separate parts, like separate things in the array. And then we can convert those. Like, for instance, we can convert the 80 from string to real or integer and use it as a number. We can use the false as true or false. We can change it to Boolean as well. So we can use this as actual values, but we can have it as one line of code, like one string, one text one string that's the pro that's the appropriate way to do it so all I have for this object is just I've got this object and like I don't know if you really need to use this the big thing is the script that we're gonna do what this object is doing is that basically I make a list that's gonna keep track of the information that we're gonna get from this line I have then I have the line which has our information in it. And this could be anything you know and then I'll, I run the script separate info right SCR separate info and we're just going to plug in our list of where we're going to put our information and where we're going to get our information from right here. So we got list and line. In our draw event here, all I have is just setting the text color to black, aligning the vertical alignment to center, but not, I'm keeping it on alignment left. First, I'm drawing the text of the line at these coordinates, all right? So we get our base line, that's that first one. And then we're going to loop through all the entries in our DS list, our list and then draw each one of them. So you can look at this string and then you can look at this uh, this code, this bit of text on the screen and take a look at it and uh, be able to see what it's doing. All then it's, it's doing is just extracting information, just keeping them all the strings for now because that's just what I'm doing with this at the moment. But basically we're just displaying the information that we have just to show that yeah, we have separate information in each slot of our list that we're keeping track of information. <laughs> So let's get into the nitty gritty, the real hard stuff, the script. So I named this script SCR separate info. All right. And it's actually not very long. That's about as long as it is. But basically what the script is going to do is that it's going to look at the whatever string you input. And then it's going to use the commas as indicators of where the information is and then split it up accordingly. So first off, we're going to make temporary variables, vars. We're gonna I named this one the list just so that it's just showing you know this is just gonna keep track of the list, the array that we're gonna put into it. And then we're also gonna have the temp underscore line keep track of the line that we're gonna input into the um script as well. And so then we're gonna make this other variable called temp start is equal to one. And that's basically this is gonna keep track of where we're gonna as like the last comma that we looked at pretty much. And so we know where to kind of where where to start. Next up, we're gonna start this for loop here. This for loop, we're gonna say for left parenthesis i equals one because we want to start at one because strings are a little different. Spot like the first spot in a string is not spot zero; it's spot it's spot one. 
it's kind of you know interesting kind of some of these little things ah uh, uh, there we go and uh and then we're going to say i is less than or equal to string length of our temp line which is where we're keeping track of just the main big beefy string and then in temp line right there and we're going to do equal to because like i said strings are a little weird so we gotta like it's more exact it's not like a raise word like off by one and then we got i plus plus right there very first thing we're going to make our curly parentheses curly brackets curly brackets i think that's how it goes we're going to say if string underscore char underscore at basically we're going to be looking this function string char at basically we're going to put in a string we're going to put in a position in the string and then we're going to say um and it's going to give back what that string like what is there basically so we're going to say string char at our first one for our string we're going to put in temp line because that's our string that we're looking through right and then for the position the index we're going to put i <coughs> that's why you put one in there because we're going to start because we're basically looking looping through each individual character that's why it's char character um of our base text and, and once we hit and then we're basically just going to say equal a comma with single parentheses because that's what we do for a character for like one single um you know letter or number or whatever so basically we're going to just loop through each one of them and say oh if this is a comma right then we want to do go we want to go in here so then we get these other curly brackets right here and we say this is what we're going to do about it we're going to make another temporary variable we're going to var temp string and basically this is going to be temp string is going to hold the little bit that we're going to kind of take out from our main string where all the information is being stored originally so basically we're going to say temp string is equal to string copy because we're going to copy a bit we're going to copy a piece of our, our string right in here the original string we're going to copy from temp line which is the main one like i said the main one that we have our main string starting from where though is temp start which in the first case is one right that's where we're going to start because it because basically how this how this function works is that we give it a starting point and then we put in a number of how many more in front it's going to or how many more behind i think no how many more in front it's going to take and copy that much that many characters right and make that into our var temp string over here so we have our temp start right here and then how many it's going to go forward is going to be i minus temp start that's just to make it so that if we think about gerald right gerald is g e r a l d yeah that's six okay one two three four five six so once it hits so then once it hits spot seven which where the comma is going to be we're going to hit spot seven and so that's going to be seven in here i is going to equal to seven right this one's going to be seven minus temp start right and temp start is one so it's going to be seven minus one which means we're going to start at one and we're going to go six over and copy that much which it's going to that's going to copy just enough to do the string but not the comma all right and then that's also going to make it so then we just do this ds list add we're going to add it to our information the list which is the list that we put in up here argument zero and then temp string which is what we just made we're going to add we're just going to add that string right to the information that we're going to have it and of course you can change this out for any variable you can just say variable this equals that or whatever you want to do um and then you can then after this we do temp start is equal to so now we're going to move up our starting point to where we're going to like copy like our string right the next bit of information and we're going to do i plus one. Oh, i'm getting a call we'll do that in just a second um i'll tell him boink anyways um so we then we've got that temp start we're gonna go i plus one so if we do i plus one that means it's gonna do after the comma that's gonna be our next starting point where we're gonna copy the next string of information so i mean that's pretty much it this one like i said was gonna be short and it is gonna be short because that's this that's our that's our script right there we put in our list where we want to put our information we put in our main string and so then what the string what this script is going to do is that it's going to take we're going to we're going to put in like i said this string right here and it's going to separate it into information that we can then use for whatever 
I plan on using this for another tutorial later on because um, it's going to store a lot of information about a lot of objects into like text I think INI files and so this was just like a pre program thing it was actually really cool you can use it for a bunch of different types of stuff but it's mainly for like information storage that you can store a bunch of information on one string and then this program could come along and then just look through it and take it out and uh, get it going just always remember though put a comma at the end because that's what it's looking for it's gonna look through look for a comma find it and then copy all the information beforehand put it in there skip over the comma go until it finds a comma keep going and stuff like that right um, and then so I'll always remember to put a comma we can put a bunch more information right we can just be like ooh, you know put a bunch of numbers put a bunch of names put a bunch of random words and whatever right and then if we just always remember to keep doing that, then if we go in here, we can take a look at it. And it should, you know, the program will just go, the script will go, and it'll separate all that information. So it's pretty neat. So yeah, we have it all listed down here is all this information, comma list as well. So super cool. Um, I think that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want to see more of this crap. As for me... I'm out of here, and always remember to have a comfy breakfast, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.